swans the water, bees the honey cell, to bats the dark, to lovers loving well. Only to the wise may you restricting and confining be. All who half delivered from themselves suffer your conspiracy. Freedom, freedom, prison of the free. Lawrence Durham was born in India of Irish parents. He was married in 1935 and his wife Nancy designed the cover for his first novel, which reflected his childhood in India and distaste for the cold English life. England, and particularly Bournemouth, he had found stiff and provincial. In 1935, he moved to Corfu, where he stayed for some four years. Most of Durrell's books reflect the places and people he has known. And about this time, he was introduced to the writing of American Henry Miller. Result? The Black Book, and a lasting friendship with Henry Miller. In 1941, he worked for the Foreign Office in Cairo and then moved to Alexandria in 1944, a city on which he based his Alexandrian quartet, the books that released him from his constant struggle for money and brought him worldwide recognition. The first of the four books was Justine. At the doors of Africa, so many towns founded upon a party could become Alexandria, like the wife of Lot, a metaphor for tears. Cyprus, too, had its effect, where light filtered through the essence of bitter lemons, and about which he wrote his prize-winning book on the Cypriot tragedy. He has served in the Foreign Office in Cairo, Rhodes, Alexandria, and Belgrade. He has a wife, Claude, and daughters, Penelope and Sappho Jane, by two previous marriages. Durrell as a poet, Durrell as a novelist, Durrell as a travel writer, I think that goes back to the sense of exuberance and just reaching out for all available modes. His legacy as a travel writer, but he always thought of himself as a poet. It was like diamonds. I can't believe it. Three years have passed. I've come back to Alexandria. <laughs> a fool's journey. Memories. Ending up merely a memory would have annoyed the hell out of Justine. Justine Hosnani dominated Alexandria. She seemed to move in a golden glow. Blood sister to a thousand tyrant queens. In 2012, when the Nobel records were opened after 50 years, it was revealed that he had been shortlisted for the 1962 Nobel Prize in Literature. A long smoker, Lawrence died of a stroke at his house in Somieres, France in 1990 at the age of 78.